Hello everybody, this is your girl Zenovia, and I am visiting one of my favorite stores, Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to go inside to check out their new faux flowers. Okay guys, so I had to check out their greenery as well because I have a client, but she's kind of like a friend, um, and she wants me to put together um, some greenery for her lanai or her um, pool area, and I'm going to check out some prices, and it looks like this price right here, $21.99, for these leaves is kind of high. Um, yeah, I need to really rethink this. So the next thing I'm going to do is check out the palm trees because she won a palm tree. Now, it looks like this one is a three foot palm tree. She won an eight foot palm tree and it's $70. So, um, yeah, I need to check out Amazon. Okay guys, one of the things I love the most is actually decorating my backyard or my lanai with greenery. And as you can see, this is my bamboo tree. And I always like to decorate my table with faux plants. Hey everybody, <laughs> this is your girl Zenobia and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a, a learning day. Um, I'm going to actually work on showing you how to put together a, a silk plant um, for your backyard. Now, we both know that these silk plants have been getting very expensive. And so I'm going to show you a way that you can actually take an inexpensive tree, like a palm tree or any type of plant, something like this, such as a bow. We're going to go step by step from the purchase that I got from Amazon. This has saved a lot of money because, you know, with silk plants, they're not going anywhere. Um, you don't have to worry about them dying or anything like that. So today, this is, that's what we're going to work on. Okay, so with further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys, this is my purchase from Amazon. It's a six-foot palm tree. My client actually purchased two of them. And right now, we're going to actually do the unboxing.
so the next thing you want to do is pay attention to your planter now this is the larger of the two and as you can see I still have the covering on it and it's very very deep and um, you want to make sure that you're giving your client the right height my client want at least a eight feet in height of her palm tree so in order to do that I had to purchase another planter a smaller one and it has a disc inside and this disc inside is for to make sure the plant is sturdy okay and I also had to purchase some dry foam and this foam is basically for the uh, perimeter of the palm tree and also so that I can put my um, succulents ivy and other greenery at the base of the palm tree okay so next you can see that I assembled the palm tree and one of the things you want to do is make sure that the palm leaves do not come off so you want to get some hot glue gun and put the glue on the end of the leaf and put it back into the stem now you want to make sure that the back of the stem is facing you as you can see it has a curve so that's how you know that this is the back of the leaf. Now you want to bend it a little so that it looks natural like as if it is a real palm. Okay one of the things that bothers me. Okay I have this indention where I put the glue and um, I need to cover that up with some green floral tape. And so I need to like measure this tape and it looks like I'm gonna need around maybe three or four inches and you can tear it and then I'm going to get some hot glue and put it on the back of the tape I'm going to adhere the tape to the stem where the indention is now one of the things you want to do is um, actually get some cloth gloves when you're actually doing this project um, hot glue can get very very hot as you can see it has burnt my fingers and I know I should have put on some gloves I really did I should have put on some glue uh, okay so as you can see I'm wrapping the tape tightly around the stem and I'm going to put some hot glue on the back of the end of the tape and now I'm going to complete it now make sure you hold it a little bit so that it sticks Okay guys, so I'm going to show you a close-up of the tape wrapped around the stem. And you see how it camouflages with the stem. And you just want to make sure that it's secure. Okay, so here is my dry foam and I'm going to actually take my dry foam and I'm going to cut it into small pieces so that I can actually build around the perimeter of the palm tree. And as you also can see, the palm tree is now assembled. And I'm also going to put some rocks, some heavy rocks down at the bottom before I actually start building the foam around the palm tree. Okay. And um, you want to make sure that this right here, this um, larger planter does not move because you want to be able for the client to actually use that planter for another time. Okay, so ha as you can see, um, these are the foam pieces that I cut into like medium squares. And I also have some smaller ones that look like they broke here. And as you push it down, you want to push it down on the rocks. And there's some glue down in here as well. 
you can leave the plastic on if you want to. Um, it's really good if you leave the plastic on because the glue can adhere to the plastic. And you just want to just push it down and just make sure that everything is in place, okay? Okay, so this is the glue that I actually have been using for this project. This is Gorilla Glue, um, hot glue sticks. And as you can see, it's not the one with the 3X or the 5X. Um, it's just a basic um, light project um, glue sticks for light projects. Okay. Okay, so with that, um, you want to get um, a low temperature glue gun. It don't have to be medium temperature or uh, high temperature. Um, okay guys, so as you can see, I already started putting some glue on the back of this Spanish green moss. And I am going to take this, if you can follow me, and place it inside the planter around the perimeter of the tree. Okay, as you can see, I'm pushing it down so it can adhere to the foam. And it's okay that you have high spots and low spots and some of the moss is hanging outside of the planter because you want to make it look real. Okay guys, so here is the a symbol of the tree. Um, this tree had a lot of negative space after I actually put it together. And as you can see at the bottom, I already um, put my succulents and my ivy as well as some fern into the bottom of the base of the tree and it's good to give it like light green and dark green so it can look lively i want to show you closely what i did as far as adding more palms to the tree so that it can make the tree look fuller okay and you can get these palm leaves from amazon Michael's Hobby Lobby they come in a pack of five or six and you can just do that to enhance the tree okay guys so it's time for your work inspection and I have to say you should never ever ever send your work out to your client without inspecting it and making sure everything is exactly the way your client wants it. So I actually have the two palms right next to each other and I'm going to look at the height, I'm going to check out the fullness and I'm going to actually bend some of the leaves so they can, so they can look real. one because this one is I think this one is a low is lower in height than the other one okay everyone it's time for the final look 